G'day guys, it's Joe here, team lead from Phantasmal. Uh, it's been a little while in coming, but I've been wanting to do a video for ages. In fact, I think if for those of you who remember looking at the Steam page or the store page, we did promise, or I specifically promised, that I'd be doing regular Twitch streams. So I've been a bit, bit slack, probably procrastinating a little bit because I knew I was a bit crap at it, but I decided, hey, you know what, the only way to get good at something is to just do it. So apologies in advance, it's probably going to be a little bit crap to be a, begin with, and it'll take me probably a couple of videos before I work my, my way up to doing Twitch videos, but I was so excited recently about some of the new updates that we've been making, a lot of the progress that we've made so far, that I thought, hey, you know what, I've got to start somewhere, so here I am. Anyway, um, here's the new game, so it's uh, the ver basically the very most up-to-date version of the game, so I think currently we're on version 4, so one of the very exciting things that we've kind of done recently is we've upgraded our game engines, so for those of you who are familiar with game engines, we were on uh, Unity 4 before and we've recently upgraded to Unity 5, so there are a lot of really, really exciting features about Unity 5 that uh, we can pass on to you, the gamer. So, uh, why don't I just start the game up and I'll kind of go through some of the things as as the game runs. One of the things that is really cool, or there are a few, few things around the graphics side of things, so um, physically based shadering is something that is, is very very cool. It's, it's all around uh, lighting and how, and how light reflects and diffuses off uh, objects um, in, in the game. So I'll, I'll take you through a little bit. So, um, oh, this is another quite cool thing where we recently upgraded our uh, control scheme so uh, we're using a, a particular package now that allows us to um, do customizable controls which some of you may have seen uh, a little while back, so you can see there. Now we're still playing around a little bit with this, so uh, with a lot of the Xbox controls and things like that, uh, we're still kind of experimenting with them, but expect to see these tidied up significantly over the, the coming couple of months. So anyway, uh, the, oh, the main reason why um, we're getting the game onto the Xbox controller is because um, I'm actually heading off to Seattle um, very soon, in a few days actually, for uh, a pre packs event which is being hosted by Microsoft. So we're also planning to uh, port Phantasmal over to the um, Xbox One. Uh, we've done a little bit of work so far on it, um, not, not a great deal, we've been focusing more on the PC Steam build, but um, we, we've been using the controller, we've been, we've been playtesting it quite a bit, and it works surprisingly well. So anyway, uh, let me take you through. So one of the first things you may have noticed, uh, apart from some of the the more subtler post-processing effects, so we took away, um, or, or we wouldn't take them away, but we uh, disabled or allow the player to disable some of the more um, annoying post-processing effects, but now uh, we, we've been experimenting with a few more subtle ones. Um, so you can probably see there there's a, a bit of color enhancement and a, and a few other things there, just to give the game a bit more of a washed out feel. But you can see some of the material. That this is what I uh, was got most excited about when I uh, first saw the Unity 5 press and everything. And this is something that uh, we have implemented already. So if you have a look on the walls and things, I wish actually that I could actually show you um, some of the, an, an older screenshot of the game, but I guess you can, you can take a look through some of the the old press that we put out there, but if you have a look on the walls and things, you can probably see how the light kind of reflects off the various surfaces. So that's using physically based uh, shading. And um, what that means is that basically um, it treats light and how light reflects off surfaces and materials and things a bit more realistically. So you can see there on the ground there's a there's a bit of a, you can see the, the light above reflecting down. Before it was it was a lot less sophisticated than that. You'd see a uniform brightness, I guess, whereas now you can actually see a bit of the, the reflection off, off the floor and off the floor onto the uh, walls here. It's a bit, a bit more shininess, so definitely much more sophisticated than before. We still need to fine-tune it quite a bit, I think, over time, but for now I think it just gives it a, 
extra added bit of realism. And this is just the beginning. We, we've done very little actually to even get it this far. A lot of this stuff is out of the box and with some of the materials that we have um, uh, that, that we actually got they came with um, um, extra textures for the, the shiny aspects of it. So, oh you can see there in the lift too, so I'm, I'm quite I'm actually pretty excited about it. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, hopefully when you guys play it too, it'll, it'll make it a little bit scarier for you as well. Just giving it that extra extra bit of enhancement for lighting. Um, so what else have we got that I can kind of talk about? Oh yes, this is what I'm really stoked about actually. is um, we, We've done a lot of work around the journal side, so a little bit on the writing, but more around the, the presentation itself. So uh, you normally you can pre oh yeah let, let, before I talk about that too much let's just uh, take a look here so you can see there it's a bit bit shiny but you can definitely see an, a huge improvement in terms of realism on uh, the the way the light acts at the moment the way it reflects is much more realistic with the with the PBS and if I walk down here you can kind of I'm guessing you can see it I'm going to turn up the gamma actually because <coughs> every time I watch um, other YouTubers as well I can barely see the game. So I'm going to turn it up there for you a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't wreck the uh, the PBS or, or the PBS that shows up on the screen currently. You can see there, well I'm actually pointing to it with my hand but that's probably not going to help you guys. But you can see on the left there there's a bit of, bit of reflection there, much more realistic reflection of the light. And when they all, when you get combinations of that, it looks, oh okay, so that's my next thing is uh, we have a couple of new creatures. So for those of you who have kind of kept up with the story a little bit, um, you know there's uh, a little bit about um, a particular drug that's being used. And so these are some of the residents who have gone a bit nutty after taking too many drugs. And I've just realised I've got no weapon, so this guy's biting my butt. And I can't do anything about it. Okay, now I can. And take this guy. Okay, they're, they're not particularly... Oh, he's got his friend there too. Bugger off. Okay, so he, he they're not particularly... Well, not particularly powerful, but um, they're quite persistent. And sometimes, very rarely, they will actually uh, reanimate. But in this instance, they've actually just died. So that's great for me. So anyway, before I got really rudely interrupted by those two... Uh, junkies, I wanted to show you guys something very cool, which was the new journal implementation. So instead of that one page thing now, so this has been worked on by Jeff and um, BB as well. Uh, they, they spent a few days on this and I think it looks fantastic. So we've got a little bit of a journal. Every time you pick up notes, they'll show up in here now. Uh, we've taken away that really um, verbose uh, instruction set that, that we had previously. And you can sort of flip through. So it gives you a bit of background on, on the story that, that we want to put in there, but it's you, you read it if you want to. I mean, basically the notes uh, and the content, with the notes and the content, I think what we want to aim for is um, we're looking to provide uh, information that will help the game. So it's something valuable rather than uh, just something you'll, you'll flip over. So w with the notes, uh, there will always be something around uh, gameplay hints, um, and additionally some background, extra additional background on the store itself. But we want to make sure that in, in line with everything, everything in the game has a purpose. So nothing's just useless waffle or anything like that. So we'd love to get your feedback. Um, the content itself we will be working on a bit, but yeah, let us know. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's another really cool example of PBS which has been applied to the hands themselves. So you can see here, so I'm just going to run up to a light, better lit area. You probably see there that they're a little bit too shiny, but you can kind of get the general idea here: the the uh, lighting and the reflection of the light off the hands, and this little plank that he's got at the moment looks much more realistic. So I'm pretty stoked about that. You're probably sick of me hearing. You're gonna be sick of, really sick of me saying that by the end of this video, um, or you'll just turn it off, which I hope you don't do. So I'll stop saying it. Anyway, <laughs> oh, okay, that doesn't look too good. Uh, so these guys, whoa, okay, his head got stuck in the stairs. That's kind of awkward and uh, not a very nice position to be in. Okay, here's another one of his friends. Okay, let me just get rid of him and I'll move on. Okay, whoa, okay, we've got our 
Our staple. Oh, I'm just about to do it. No, no! I'm going crazy. Oh, man, this is not going to be... Okay, I died. Okay, so that's another worthwhile thing to, to talk about. So the way we've implemented the insanity has now changed a little bit, so that mechanism is now slightly different. So there's two principles. One of them is sanity, and one of them is shock. So shock happens when you see something really scary, like our friend the, the Starver over there. Immediately your vision will start to blur, you'll start getting dizzy, and, and get lots of visual and... and um, other kinds of hallucinations. Sanity is more of a, a, a longer running stat, so you, the shock is immediate and it goes away very quickly too, but if you're exposed to too much stuff that freaks you out, that, that decreases your, your sanity, then uh, you'll get longer lasting effects, like uh, for, for instance one of the worst ones is uh, your vision will start getting all wiggly and, and, and wobbly, so that, that'll kind of affect uh, what you can see, and you also start hearing some sounds as well. So you get you get different types of hallucinations, and and we're gonna we're planning to add to that too. So you'll probably see at the top right there, there's a there's an elder sign symbol there. So whenever you're affected by something scary, you'll start to see steam coming off that. If your sanity starts to get a little bit too low, then that. Uh, that elder sign will in fact start getting brighter and brighter. So when it's kind of like a, a bright yellowish color, uh, that's that's basically when you're when you're when you've got very little sanity left. That's when you're pretty insane. So your vision will start to go. You'll start getting wiggly effects, and you'll be much more prone to shock too. So whenever you get those visual distortions from seeing a starver or another creature, uh, little you'll be much more vulnerable to it. So it's actually quite bad to. To, to be insane. So how do you get sanity back? Well there's a few ways of doing it. We've got kind of a few uh, placeholder type ways you can do it at the moment. So one is by turning on lights. So you flick on lights, the more lights you turn on the better you'll feel. So being because it's so horribly dark in, in this place it starts to wear away your sanity and if you turn on lights it makes you feel so much better. So I'll turn on another one, so obviously I'm at 100% sanity at the moment, so it doesn't affect me. So here you go, you can see more of the PBS and the shininess. I'm just going to move on. Uh, a few other little things, so there's the, the journal side of things. Uh, we've got a couple more of those creatures. Yep, also we've... Uh, We've lit up the rooms a little bit more, so I think what we're going to be doing... Oh, lots of flies. What we're going to... Well, they look like fireflies, don't they? A little bit. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. So, one of the things that we will be looking into more is adding in a bit more lighting. So, if you've noticed a little bit of change from the general lighting, previously it was all kind of pitch black, which probably didn't work too well, really. We wanted the players, really, to use these switchable lights to, to turn them on and be able to almost find a pathway for themselves through the game. Um, but I think that was a little bit too much. So what we've decided to do is uh, some of these lights that are already on, they may be flickering, um, or um, eventually what we want to do is have some creepy lights. It's lights that are maybe swimming, swinging back and forth, casting shadows, making things a little bit more, more menacing, a bit more scary. Oh, a key, nice. So we'll have a bit more default lights. I mean, you can see the window there. We brighten those up a tiny bit more as well. Ah, I know <laughs> PBS, but I really like it. You can see there's definitely a, a bit more of a reflection there, a bit more realistic reflection. I'm quite liking that. Oh, here's a here's a guy. Seems harmless. One thing that I uh, decided to throw in there as well is um, I, I noticed from a lot of Twitch and YouTubers that they would find a dead end and it'd be really... Oh, here's a note. So there we go, and you can see a bit of a note, and then shut that down. So with, with a lot of dead ends, dead ends can be really, really irritating. So in line with that principle of making things uh, useful or having a purpose, first of all, you'll, you'll always see at a dead end, a complete dead end, that there'll be a, a little fire there and a little uh, trash can. So you can see that from a, from a little while away. So if you see that from far away, you'll know there's a dead end there. So probably you don't want to go down there. But, if you were running low on health or other stuff, you wanted supplies, there is actually a crate there that you can pick stuff up from. So sometimes that's going to be empty, but sometimes it's not. So 
yeah, there'll be a purpose. If you ever want to scavenge for stuff, you could always go down to a dead end. So there is a use rather than just being that annoying dead end. And there's a little friend there too, who you could also beat up if you wanted. Oh, and in this case, he conveniently drops some of his pills, which is sanity pills too. However, as you know, a dead end is not good to be caught in if there are a ton of creatures chasing after you. So, as with the other principle in the game that we kind of want to build, everything that you do that has an advantage will always have a disadvantage. Which brings me to this. Is a uh, typically an, at a dead end, but it's actually a end room. So let me just open that up. Oh, actually it's not an end room, it's actually one of these clinic areas. So let me open that up and... Oh, oh, okay. That must be new. I don't actually remember even seeing a curtain there before. <laughs> That's interesting. So let me unlock this and take a look. Oh, I've got a baseball bat. Nice. Okay, but I prefer my good old plank because it looks nicer. Okay, so let's see what's here. Whoa, gee, that actually startled me a little. <laughs> that was kind of stupid. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny when you get freaked out by your own game sometimes? <laughs> I actually did genuinely get a little bit of a tiny scare there. Uh, which <laughs> brings me to my next feature, which is jump scares. There will be some... Oh, doesn't that look disgusting? Oh, it's twitching away. That's actually pretty filthy. That's... Oh, okay, that is pretty filthy. So, that brings me to our next thing. Um, we're at the point now where we've got a lot of the main game mechanics there. And so we're we're at the stage where we're going to be essentially... Oh, we're going to be building in a lot more content. So one of those uh, categories of content is jump scares. So um, I'm not a fan of games that are purely jump scares, but I think they do add a bit of tension. So you, if you walk around the corner and something might jump out at, you, out at you, that anticipation is usually scarier, but you still need the jump scares to begin with. So we've added a few few jump scares, there'll be a lot more added in, or just creepy effects and things, random events that will happen. Um, what we plan to do over time, and hopefully we can do this, is that the, the sanity, your overall sanity, sanity stat will affect the likelihood of whether or not uh, some of these things will happen. So the more crazy you are, the, the more likely bad stuff will happen to you. Oh, and if you notice there, you may have seen this before, but you can hold down your fire button, which will charge up a shot, which will be much more powerful. So, okay, so this guy usually takes a couple of hits. One hit kills him. So, as I was saying, the sanity will also determine whether or not certain things will happen, certain events will, will happen. Oh, okay, so that shouldn't be there like that. There should be a room, but that's cool. Let me walk on through. So yeah, that's these are our updates in a nutshell for update 5 incoming, which will be ready in the next uh, two, two to three weeks. So uh, one other thing that I'd like to talk about is, um, as I mentioned before, there's a pre-pax event, uh, which is happening a little bit before uh, PAX Prime uh, next week. So if anyone is actually going to the pre-PAX event, which is hosted by Microsoft at their uh, Seattle campus, then please feel free to drop by. You'll be able to see the latest version of this game and its Unity 5 glory. But other than that, uh, you will be seeing a lot more videos and hopefully Twitch once I get that sorted out in the very near future. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the videos, the game, uh, how we're handling the community management or the press, anything you like, let us know. We're here to to uh, basically put, give you the best experience that you can have. So thanks again for watching, and I look forward to catching up with you guys again next time. Until then, see you later.